I've been to a few of the um, uh, local meetings, the ones with just the advocates, because my best friend is an advocate for Whitley County, which is the town that we live in. And I've been bringing him to these events and every, and I, it's been a wonderful education to understand things better than I knew before. When I still had my home, he was my neighbor. And we, when we first met each other, it was like we were peas and carrots at hello. He is like the little brother I've never had. I have very little family. I do have some, but very, very little. And we were just in like Flynn from day one. And I ended up having to move and we lost touch. Well, he cleans um, carpets and things for um, his extra income and along with his wonderful art and photography. And he was cleaning one of our local hotels. Well, it used to be a hotel and they made it into an apartment building. And it's like a historical building. He was shampooing the carpets and cleaning. And I walked in and I heard his voice. And he said, is that my Dawn? And he was in one parlor and I was in the other parlor. And we both came through the door and hugged forever and bawled. It was just a wonderful, wonderful reuniting. And I could probably cry thinking about it, but I'm trying not to. Um, he just brings so much joy to my life. And what I'm good at, he's not. And what he's good at, I'm not. And we just seem to complement each other so well. We have a rapport where we talk. I never dismiss him. And I think that's the worst thing about being disabled, is to be dismissed like you are nothing. And when someone is dismissed, they're not heard. I never would have imagined that we would be back friends again and be able to do this. It's been such a wonderful blessing. Mm -hmm.